didn't compete a lot. I mean, a lot of student athletes didn't compete this weekend, but you did have some big time performances, especially Butari. I mean, breaking the school conference record in the 800. Kind of just talk about how impressive that was. Yeah, I mean, he just kind of hung in there the first uh, three laps. And then we always know he has a pretty devastating finish and kick. And he just he just knew he could run with those guys and proved it. And I mean, I wouldn't say I'm shocked, but I would say that uh, we've seen this talent for a long time. And I think the talent is now just you're just seeing it on display cross country. He's just he's a very uh, talented athlete. He can run from 800 all the way to 10K. So he's an impressive athlete. And, it was just exciting to watch that for sure. Um, you talk a little bit about Arnau as well. He he ran 150, 61 in the second, which was under the previous school record. I mean, just like by yeah. himself. <laughs> yeah, he was uh, – he got put in that second heat, which was a little disappointing, but we were just happy to be there and happy to have the opportunity just dealing with everything. We couldn't go to Washburn, so he made the most of it, and it set up pretty well for him, honestly, and he ended up uh, making a big move there and, and – getting in that 150 range. I think that's still third in the nation. So uh, hopefully that gets both those guys in and both those guys deserve it. They both work hard. Taki's one of the best guys we've had here since I've been here. Just a great guy um, and really deserves this uh, that time and really puts in the effort to run as fast as he does. So this week it's the Lone Star Conference Championships. Women going for their eighth straight title. Men looking to get back on the podium. Uh, just give us a preview. Yeah, I think, I mean, it'll be different just because we're limited uh, roster numbers on each side, 25 on each side. So that's different that we're doing this year just because of facility limitations. So choosing those 25 and who can help us uh, compete at our best at our best will be difficult. We'll have to do that by Wednesday. And then obviously you have the COVID testing. We'll do that tomorrow and we'll see what that does. So definitely a different year, but we're really excited to be able to compete and be able to compete in one of the fastest tracks in the nation is awesome for our conference. And really for our conference, this is a last chance meet. There are no other meets after this. We'll be sitting around that last weekend, seeing if we're qualifying for the national meet. So this is a big week, obviously for our team, team titles and stuff like that, but, but also big time for all our individual athletes for the whole conference to get, improve their marks and get to the national championship. Is there anyone on the bubble you expect maybe that can have a good showing at conference championship that can earn their way into nationals? I think Miriam Zanavello can have a big meet. She's a triple jumper. She was at the national meet indoor last year before it got canceled. So I think she's ready to do something. I think she can be, get up there and triple jump. And then I think uh, we've got a few guys in the 200, Benjamin and Desmond, I think they can run fast there. And then really um, distance-wise, we'll be trying to run some fast 5Ks. So really all over the board, throws everywhere. I mean, we just haven't had a lot of opportunities. So there's a lot of bubble people. So this is it for us. So I think a lot of people will take advantage of this. And it'll be a little rough training this week and preparing, but we'll do the best we can to put them in the situation to succeed and hopefully really compete at their best Saturday and Sunday.